Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. For today, I'm going to be showing you all my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes to wear during fall. So if you like eyeshadow palettes, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today. And if you're curious, like girl, where have you been last week? I have a chemical burn. I've been testing out some new skincare. Something didn't drive with my skin or they didn't like each other. But anyway, my skin paid the price. So for a week, I could not wear makeup. Today's the first day where where I was able to do like a full face and it did burn like fire in the beginning but it's it's better now so I had to take a break and you know what I'm gonna power through it hopefully I can wear this makeup today and let's just chit chat and I'm excited to be back and let's talk about the 10 palettes that I picked for fall yes I could do like top 30 like I have so many palettes that you could wear during fall but just between you and I, I just wanted to show you like 10 palettes that I genuinely look forward to during the fall. Some are new, some are staples, so let's get into it. And this isn't, I guess this isn't like a ranking, this is just like top 10 favorites. So let's start off with the palette on my eye. This is Glaminatrix Barely Basic. Like this is one of the newer palettes to my collection, but holy moly, I cannot stop wearing this palette. It is perfect. I know you look at it, you're like, okay, like she's neutral, cute. But I'm telling you, the way these tones look on your face, like, they're not just another neutral palette. This is incredible. <laughs> like, the formulation, I love the mattes. It's so easy to work with. And as you can see, I kind of did more of a dramatic look for me. But you can get very basic, everyday wearable looks, or you can tone it up. I love that you get some iridescence, some beautiful, sparkly, shifty shimmers, and then the mattes. I love the layout of this palette. So... If you love neutrals with a twist of fall, like you don't want a full on like fall palette, but you want some neutrals, I think this is perfect for just, I don't know, everybody, honestly, even if you love dramatic makeup and you want a little bit of a toned down fall palette, like she's your girl. So number, we're not ranking. I have to get out of that mentality. Next, this is the Harvest Moon palette from Inslee Rain. Stop. <laughs> it is it is honestly next level. Inslee Rain Shimmers always knocks my socks off. And this palette is large. I'm not the biggest fan of large palettes. But with, when it comes to like Inslee Rain, a few other brands as well. Like the Glaminatrix. Like I don't care. Give me the biggest, baddest palette you want. Because I love it, you know. So honestly, this palette leans a little bit deep. The shimmers, that's honestly why I didn't pick it up for the longest time. Because it leaned so deep. But I'm telling you, the way that you can transform, especially layering some of these orangey shades like the red shades some of the hollow chromes it will just kind of like brighten up the inner part or all over your lid so I have come to absolutely adore this palette so like I said I took a week break and I had all these palettes in the stack because I really wanted to narrow down my top 10 and that's why I did a huge declutter as well because I am excited that I get to look at my collection not feel overwhelmed and genuinely play with palettes like new or old that I absolutely love like you don't like more is not more when it comes to your collection literally you just need what you absolutely love if that makes sense I was feeling overwhelmed and now I'm just so pumped to play with makeup all right now we have got the Heather Austin palette. This is from Adept Cosmetics. I like I, y'all know I love this palette. Like, I've hit pan in so many of the shades. I used it a few times, not last week, the week before. I love this palette. This is just like tried and true. I love the undertones. The mattes make this like fall palette for me. And the shimmers transform any look. Like every time I use this palette, I feel like I've never like created the same look twice, if that makes sense. I'm, there's something magical about this palette. And the way the shimmers like layer on one another, they create an entirely different shadow, like a pure like shift on your lid. It's truly an incredible palette and I absolutely love it. It's just really nice to reach into a palette and every single time you create a look it's something new and different so I just that palette honestly has such a special place in my heart. Next let's move on to the Nomad Hudson Valley palette. This screams fall. If there was ever a fall palette to be it would be this so incredible and I cannot wait to reach for. I haven't I've used a lot of these but this is one that I haven't reached for all that often because I feel like I can only use it during fall which that's silly so I'm excited to have it in like my fall basket and reach for it more because several of these palettes I reach for them year around but this is one where I feel limited to only reach for it during the autumn months like that is so silly you can wear whatever palette when you want so I'm trying to get out of that mentality but it's just a look at it and you're like oh I can't wear it till fall like stop why <laughs> why am I like that next let's see this is the Glaminatrix Nocturnal palette this is one I have so many of these I wear year-round I wear this constantly and I actually have the new baby let me get it 
If you are curious, I don't know if I'm going to do a video, but I'll do some reels comparing these two. I love this one so much. I had to get this one because this is obviously smaller. It's still magnetic, but honestly, this has their like their newer revamp formulation. So I cannot wait to try it out and just see how different the formulation is. But I definitely wanted to have it because I love this one. But if I can even get this better then I definitely had to have it. I love this one. Honestly, it's perfect. It's grungy. You can get wearable looks, grungy looks, colorful looks. I love this palette. The shimmers, they're not like extremely crazy, shifty, sparkly, but they are so pretty. Like they're still shifty and sparkly, but they're more flattering, if that makes sense. They're not as potent and intense as some others but like you can get this like I can go into the purple and it doesn't scream purple unless I layer it up because this is a very buildable formula this palette is just so flattering I love it and I look at it and it just makes me happy and every look kind of like the adept palette the way these undertones are every time I create a look it's almost different and the way they layer on one another it just takes it to the next level and I can appreciate that next this is the druid palette this is from a fantasy cosmetica I mean talk, talk about fall I just whenever I think about fall obviously like you have your fall staple colors but honestly greens and grungy shades that is my fall essence and I love that you get some reds and like some berries all the things so this palette is just so beautiful I love the formulation and I just it's beautiful like, I love the packaging with the leaves this is one that I always get excited to use year-round but especially during fall now let's talk about strange and unusual Bella Butte bar I actually had Beetlejuice nails but my I think my skin is like allergic to like the super glue and it was like bleeding I can I have the hardest time doing my nails even with nail polish if I go to the salon get acrylics or get gel dips if I do like just like press on nails <clears throat> my my hands freak out so I'm really sad you couldn't see the beautiful nails. Hopefully, I'll, like, pop up a picture of them because they were so freaking cute. Anyways, I'm going off track. This palette, I've worn this a couple of times, like, but not last week, but the week before. I love it. It is so freaking pretty. Now, keep in mind, the original has a red right here. Mine came broke, and <clears throat> I put in a Natasha Denona, like, cream to powder shade, and it just honestly made it that much better for me because I love a brown. This palette is so pretty. I do have the old formulation. They do have a newer one with magnetic pans, updated formulation. I I don't need it because I love this one so much. These shimmers are very textured, chunky, flaky, extremely shifty. The mattes are just okay. That's why obviously I'm assuming they did the newer formulation. Is this the best formula? No, but honestly it is so beautiful and it, I don't even care because it still works beautiful for me and I love I love the theme. I love the colors. It's just, it honestly, it's honestly going to show up in like my top Halloween picks as well, but it's also another palette where I don't care if it's a midsummer, if it's spring, if it's winter, I'm still going to reach for that palette. And now let's move on to Electrum Cosmetics. This is the Midnight Moth palette. This really knocked my socks off, guys. The shimmers are not for the faint of heart. They are extremely sparkly, shifty. Some are flaky, textured they are honestly next level incredible intense vibrant so i just wanted to make that known if you do not like that type of shimmer this is not for you but the mattes are such a lovely formulation and i love as you can see like give me a mustard give me a green give me like a burgundy brown like i'm good to go i just love this color story honestly they knocked it out of the park and i just i look at this palette it inspires me to create and i cannot read i cannot wait to reach for this one more. I have two palettes left to talk about. Let's move on to the Sumerian Sunset from Adept Cosmetics. This is truly stunning. If you love warm tone multi-chromes, bright, shifty, orangey with some greens, I think you would really enjoy this palette. And keep in mind also, this is not to make you feel the need to buy palettes. Just go into your collection and pull out 10, 20, however many palettes you want. It could be one palette for fall. But if you love like these warm tones, like you're going to love this palette. And if you have it, get it out, use it because holy moly, I think this is perfect for fall. Honestly, I can see some Christmas in here, but I just look at this and it makes me think of fall leaves. And I absolutely love it because I love a very intense, fiery multi-chrome. So. I honestly sometimes just go into that palette for the inner corner pop or as highlighter because it just has so many like staple shades for me. Last but certainly not least, I have not done a video on this palette and I need to. It's just, it's kind of like past that point where people would watch it, but that doesn't, like, I don't care. I'll still post a video if you want me to. This is a Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. 
I have a very unpopular opinion about this. I immediately saw this palette and first I was like, oh, wait, I think I already have that. And then I saw the multi-chrome up here and I was like, holy moly, I don't have that one yet. But I literally went to my collection like looking just to make sure because it looks so similar. But the way that I immediately wanted this palette, I thought it was freaking beautiful. I can appreciate Natasha Denona coming out with several neutral, like wearable palettes because it's not for everybody. I think honestly, she is trying to get her like established line where she has a palette like a wearable palette neutral palette for every skin tone like you can just see she's got cool tones warm tones neutrals I think it's not for everybody she's trying to make a palette for each person based off their skin complexion their skin tone like what they want yes you could collect them all but honestly I don't think it's for everybody so whenever you're like oh it's another Natasha Denona neutral palette I don't think that was her point to make everyone buy it I think she's genuinely trying to grow a palette for everybody if that makes sense probably not I literally just woke up so anyways I love this palette I love it because I have a very fair to light skin complexion and it's not too orange on me is this warm tone yes but it's still flattering it's not like like one of those orangey shadows where I don't even want to wear it like the bronze palette that is too warm leaning for me so I honestly really appreciate this palette and if you just go into like one of these shades it's not too extreme even the lightest shade guys it's not it's like my skin complexion it's a very peachy so that's why I'm saying like if you have a warm undertone this is going to be your perfect palette that I need a neutral palette like that's my palette you know what I mean so I think she's just genuinely trying to create a palette for everybody so I would if you have if you haven't had like your perfect palette I would email the brand and be like girl I need this palette so I can definitely I can appreciate what she's doing and all the neutral palettes she's adding because especially the golden that's for like all of skin tones and like the neutral I need a neutral palette that's for like fair skin this looks like warm skin and uh the bronze palettes are really good for like deep skin and like extremely warm so let me know what you think about the Natasha Denona palette. I honestly love it. I've created four, five, six, I think seven looks. I did not take a picture of the one I did yesterday and I used that multi-chrome. I'm like kicking myself like why? I've completely forgot to take a picture of it and it was beautiful. Like even though this is newer to my collection, I must say that this is a perfect transition from summer to fall palette. I love the tones in here. I, honestly, if this multi-chrome wasn't here, I would have probably like a different attitude towards this palette but this honestly really changes it and you can create different looks just based off that one shade I just blend it all over I mix and match it and some of these darker shimmers like really have my heart because in the pictures I was like it looks like there's two of every single shade but in person well there's still a few that are similar but honestly I think that this is a perfect transition from a summer to fall and I know a lot of people may see this and it may be boring and that's perfectly fine but I however love it and another way I've been using this palette is mixing it with my different like indie single shimmers it's so pretty but guys this formulation is top tier 10 out of 10 like you can't deny Natasha Denona has a bomb formula and it's always so flattering on my eyes so let me know down below what are your top picks for fall but that's gonna do it for today's video I absolutely love fall I love the makeup aesthetic I just like more is more when it comes to fall makeup for me and I love these undertones and I'm so excited that I did my declutter because now I look at my collection and I'm just like ready to go ready to play with makeup wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye guys. Don't, don't.